Something that is really reflected in this work is what I've been through in the last five years. Some of the pieces have taken me over a year to complete. And, you know, I've had my ups and downs like any other artist. The more I get told no, the more I see that as a gift. It's something we've got to embrace and therefore show more determination and be much more optimistic about what we can achieve. So with the nature of the Hell Collection being that it's Hell, I want to be able to, in a nutshell, tell someone what it's about. That's why I say to a lot of people that come and see the work, do you see yourself in it? When they've got a piece and taken it home, they say, yes, I do see what you mean. I do see my life in that work. I am going to be organising studio visits so people can come and see me, because I think there's something really enticing about meeting me with regards to the work as well. All the build-up for this, this Hell Collection, we've literally decided to launch it this year. So it launches now, 2017. It's going to run into 2018. There's 16 pieces in the collection. It's initially being launched in Mayfair at the Maddox Gallery. And it's going to be in Los Angeles, New York, St. Petersburg, Tokyo. This is a very, it's a glo this is a global communication, you know, what do we go through to succeed? I think the road that I've travelled on in the last five years has been full of ups and downs. So, you know, I do feel like some of it I have gone through hell and this reflects in the work. This is about looking at, you know, what do we need to do to achieve? And I think that successful people go out of their way to do things that unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. When I was out there knocking on doors of galleries, when I was out there trying to ring art agents and they were all saying, no, we're not interested. What's your background? Were you trained? I don't need any of that because I've got the determination and I'm so optimistic and I know I've got the drive to just get out there and do it. And I do it and I deliver. I wanted to take the buyer of my work on a journey from the beginning. I've connected with most of my collectors and I've said, look, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing this collection. I want you to be able to see this. So I'm sending updates to them. I'm sending little snippets of days that I work on certain pieces, how things are progressing, how they're evolving, how the actual whole collection is coming together. And this is really interesting. It's like a documentation of how this is going to actually work out in the end. And that's something that I think that artists should share. That's what I think this collection is about as well. It's about that journey, and I'm showing the people the journey I go through to make the collection. People buy artists. Yes, they buy art, but they buy artists, and this is what my hell collection's about. It's about buy me, because this is what my work is about. It's about hell. What we go through to become successful.